Greetings, YouTube. I have heard from several people over the last four days that I either sound like I finally hit puberty, which maybe I did, or that uh, the audio is, uh, you know, suspect. Hopefully this is better because I'm officially back in Oklahoma as of the last, like, 15 minutes of walking in my house. And uh, it's Sunday, and I uh, have an offer to grade, which is very fascinating because just taking a look at Sunday now becoming like a tier five catalyst fragment day, which it's interesting to me because when I saw this deal, I thought, is this finally going to be a deal that they don't say it's just for Cavalier or excuse me, it's just for uncollected. Is it actually going to be Cavalier? And yes, the answer is actually it is for those who are Cavalier. So we've been waiting for this for quite some time. They said at the beginning with the breakdown that they would start with uncollected to kind of give people motivated to become Cavalier and then they'd move to Cavalier and they did not do that. They stuck it for uncollected being the cutoff in so many deals that probably should have been Cavalier, but it might have been a smart move on their behalf because they wanted more people to buy them. And of course, if you're not Cavalier, you don't see the offer. So what's interesting about this is twofold. It's resetting the retail price of tier five basic catalyst fragments to what it was on July 4th. And it's giving you the five times 2% tier five class catalyst fragment crystals. So I have not been on the line app. I have been on a plane on two hours of sleep all day, but I'm guessing some people are tempted because in the past on days like July 4th, you would get about one third or 15,000 tier five basic catalyst fragments, uh, one, one third of a fully formed, which is still a lot of money. If you do the math, that's $300 for one tier five basic. And you need two of them to take a five star up to rank five or three of them to take a six star up to rank two. But consider that this was the same price when this first started for 4,500 tier five basic or 10% of a tier five basic catalyst. So thankfully the economy of the game has dropped the value and the price of this. But at the same time, this is the biggest whale offer possible because of these things. The tier five class catalyst fragment crystals that are 2% a piece that the RN Jesus or RN Judas, depending on how much it betrays you, is going to give you what it's going to give you. And oftentimes people spend a lot of money on these and they'll send me a picture and they'll say, prof, I really wanted say tech. I really wanted tier five tech catalyst fragments because I really, really, really wanted to take up ghost eventually to rank three. And of course they get everything but tech. If these, you could at least choose your class, I would be more inclined to promote them, but it's a true gamble that can often just leave you more regretful that you ever tried it than thankful that the offer existed. So if we're just looking at this strictly as a tier five basic catalyst fragment offer, this is the best we have seen since July 4th. I'm not saying this is an A plus offer. In fact, I'm still saying this is a B offer. But if you're somebody like the newly married, now on his honeymoon, Zach Savoy, who I was enjoying his company of and his wonderful bride-to-be, awesome groomsman. I could go on and on about all the legends I met in California this weekend. But uh, he was like less than 15,000 tier five basic callus fragments away from taking his next five star up to rank five. And he has awakened Omega Red. And so I was trying to prep him all weekend, giving him some advice on what his mastery said needed to change. It was fun to just kind of be his consultant for three days in MCOC. Because that's what you can do when a subscriber invites you to be the guest of honor at their wedding. You can just talk MCOC for three days. It was a lot of fun. But I will say this. At minimum, you should have 1 million gold for an Odin or 99.99 worth of an offer. This is 250,000. This is really, really cheap in terms of gold. Way too cheap. And I don't get that. We saw more gold a couple days ago for the 19.99 offer for 20 bucks than for five times the price. And I get this isn't a gold specific value, but they should still throw in way more than 250,000. So I'm gonna give this a B. Uh, if you're somebody who this will actually get you to take that five star up to rank five, and maybe you do have now that that five star rank five 65 blade or domino, Corvus, Void, Cap Infinity War, you name it, I get the appeal. I also think that this offer is not an A because from what I've seen with the new Alliance War crystals, you can get a crazy amount of tier five basic 
just from like one or two. In fact, somebody opened two of them, just two Alliance War Seasons Crystals, and they sent me a screenshot of 20,000 Tier 5 Basic, which according to Kabam is like over $100 worth of uh, Tier 5 Basic for just opening your Alliance War Crystals. So because those numbers have increased, the value of this kind of offer has decreased. It's probably the reason why they're giving us 18,000 instead of the usual like nine to 12,000. But if you really, really need them to complete the champion, I think it's about a B value. If you don't, it's a lot of money to spend. Keep in mind, we're about a month away from Cyber Monday, which will give us the opportunity to not only get this kind of offer, plus probably five-star or six-star shards, but also the units that go with it because you're sacrificing the 3,100s you'd normally get, uh, 3,100 units you normally get from this offer for the items that you're taking the place of for the same price. So that's what makes these offers worse, and that's also why July 4th and Cyber Monday are so amazing. That's a lot of words in a short amount of time. My head is spinning. I have not had a full meal but once in the past 24 hours, so I probably should go eat something before I pass out. But hopefully this video finds itself to YouTube. Thank you for everybody. I know I wasn't able to upload as much this weekend. I'm kind of having to figure out this new um, healthy somehow middle ground between being a full-time YouTuber but also making sure I don't just burn out working 120 hours a week. And so some days I might not post as much and some days I might not be able to respond to line app questions as much, but I'm still going to do my best to serve this community because this wedding this weekend was a reminder that this is why I do what I do, to just help make great people's lives even better and connect with the legends of the community. Have a great day, YouTube. Happy Sunday. Thanks for watching.